Hello and welcome back. I've got a little time on my hands in between model parts and painting, letting them dry, so I thought I'd go ahead and get some wiring done on the lighting. For the engineering fuselage, my first set of wires is going to be six LEDs that are strung together in a parallel circuit, which means each one has a negative wire and a positive wire attached, strung to the next one to the next one, and to the next one, on down the line. There are six of these all together, and then I have a resistor here at the end. This one's a little more powerful than what they recommended, but I recommend going higher instead of lower if you don't have the proper resistor, and that way you're going to ensure that you don't burn out your LEDs, uh, and you don't see a lot of uh, money go down the drain. Uh, these are not exactly the cheaper LEDs. I got uh, some better quality LEDs to make sure they last for a while because I plan to have this uh, model sitting around for quite some time. Now this is, for these six LEDs, a 100 ohm resistor rated at 1 watt. My power source is going to be a 12 volt 100 milliamp power supply. So that's uh, plenty of plenty of resistance in the line for that. I've already checked it and they do light up just perfectly fine. Each one of these draws 3.3 volts, each one of the LEDs, and uh, the milliamp current is 25 milliamps. Uh, 3.6 volts is the max on these. So anyway, I went through and I, I uh, Googled up a LED calculator. I found one under actually LED wiring is what I went to, which gave me an LED tutorial, which gave me a connection then to an LED calculator that I was able to go ahead and I can do series or par parallel um, single LEDs or up to as many counts as I want, uh, and it'll give me the resistance qualities that I need. Very convenient, of course. If you're not familiar with this, then you're going to need yourself a resistor chart as well, and those are plenty, uh, quite plentiful on the internet, so you can pick those up too. Anyway, <clears throat> that's the wiring for now, and uh, I'll get back to some of the model parts. By the way, welcome back to Building the Enterprise, Part 2. Um, I worked last night on finishing up the Arboretum. I think you saw that. Um, then I applied the decals to the back clear window pane that goes over the Arboretum. Uh, stands up vertically, I think, like this. I don't know, it may actually lay down. Yeah, it does lay down. Boy, shock. I'm just discovering all sorts of stuff. <laughs> But then that's viewable through the windows in the uh, lower fuselage. And I think it'll look pretty nice once it's uh, all put together. And uh, it'll look pretty pretty. Okay. I'm trying to put off doing this officer's lounge as long as I can because the detail on it is very small. And um, maybe more than the uh, poor old eyes of this uh, 50 plus year old can take. The sensor dish, I've sprayed it. I uh, did two coats of black and then a uh, coat of uh, flat white. And then I drilled out the hole in the center uh, right here so that a five millimeter LED fits that. Uh, I'm going to use a blue burning one, which can be strung in uh, the same chain as uh, some clear lights with the resistor. Um, and that way um, the sensor dome will be lit from the inside. Uh, again, the same thing applies to the uh, body parts for the uh, engineering hull or the low secondary hull. Um, I went ahead and I applied two coats black until I was sat satisfied no light was showing through. And then I went ahead and I uh, painted them with flat white. And they've turned out pretty good so far. Uh, might need one more coat just to make sure. Um, we'll see as time goes on. I uh, went ahead and black coated a few other parts. Got the lower sensor dome for the uh, primary hull. Got the bridge. Uh, got it painted flat black. Uh, I forgot the rear piece though, but I'll get that tomorrow. Uh, and got the engine front parts, which I guess you would call buzzard collectors. Um, they do on the next generation ship, but of course these don't glow red. Uh, these are black on the front of the warp nacelles there. Um, and the piece de resistance today. Uh, I have finished up the um, shuttle bay. 
and uh, I have gone ahead and added a string of six LEDs off of a 12 volt um, 100 milliamp power supply. Um, I've got these all tied in. I've got a resistor of 100 ohms of 1 watt uh, down here which gives me enough resistance so I'm not going to blow anything. And it all looks very nice when it's lit up. Last night after I talked to you I went ahead and I finished decaling the inside and I went ahead and I glued this together. Um, I'll place the uh, shuttles in there with um, tweezers etc. We'll take a look at that lit up in a moment. But uh, also, I'm quite proud of these, the way they turned out for as small as they are. Um, got all the shuttles done. Um, I'm probably going to use the regular Galileo and um, the, the Copernicus uh, shuttles inside the ship themselves. And then I will probably use these other two shuttles, the uh, Herschel and the Haley. Um, outside actually the stand uh, for the ship and I'll probably suspend them on small wires or something and have an LED lighting them up um, as like little workhorses kind of buzzing around the uh, ship itself uh, to kind of finish off the diorama. I think it'll look pretty neat. Have not assembled the work pods yet. Uh, that's something I need to do. But uh, she's coming together slowly but surely. Let me show you this uh, bridge, or not the bridge, the uh, hangar deck lit up, and that will conclude today's video. Okay, as you see, there are lit up LEDs. I've got them strapped so that they uh, penetrate the roof, uh, the clear plastic parts on the ceiling to light the interior of the bay, and they do that quite nicely. Uh, the clear, they're kind of like... Um, Gad, I don't know what you call them, uh, warp cores or whatever back there in the back. They're kind of glowing a little bluish back there. Uh, those are clear plastic parts. And I've actually got the last pair of LEDs kind of set over on top of them to kind of give them some additional lighting. And that kind of worked out real well. I like that. Um, so it'll light up and show quite a bit of detail. And actually more light gets reflected in there uh, when the strong back is up in top, uh, on top of this. Um, so it does uh, light up a little brighter than that. Did, uh, like I said, get all the decals in there, so uh, I'm real happy with it. And uh, we'll see you in part three.